you do this? Well, I've been doing it for over 40 years. And uh, the first time I did it because a bunch of nuts wanted to ride Trail Ridge. And I had an old bicycle with a cracked seat. And I heard about Flagstaff, so I rode it up here. And since I was able to do it, I figured I could probably do Trail Ridge. And I did do Trail Ridge and have done it every year since. And now I, I mean, I really enjoy it. And to a large extent, it's it's my favorite doctor. I have an appointment after this with a cardiologist. But he can't do as much for me as this mountain can. And it's amazing whether I have a backache or a shoulder ache or a headache or a cold. If I come up here, it's usually gone. And so I have a tremendous amount of data And it takes me now about two times as long as it used to take when I was a young man. And, but it's, it's good, I enjoy it. You know, I taught physics and it was really the lack of physics that got me, my, uh, the lack of my understanding of physics that got me into bicycling. I had a little bicycle when I was a, a kid, a little green bicycle. It was after the war, and many of the pilots, the bombardiers, they didn't drop the bombs on the cities, but out in the forest. And so there were craters and sand and dirt piles, and we would race on those. And with a little bitty bicycle, I could do things that, you know, the guys with the big bicycles simply couldn't do. So they thought I was hot stuff. And they thought uh, I was hot stuff. And so when I was seven years old, I went on a, one, on a week long bicycle trip with these guys who were graduating from grade school. And we ended up at a uh, monastery. And a few years later, I convinced my parents I wanted to become a missionary. So a few years later, I became a student in that monastery. And it was all because of that little bicycle. A year and a half later, I ran away. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> well, you've certainly had some interesting experiences. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's been and still is an interesting life.